situations kind of call for, like the grim, the eyes of the grim. That was kind of new to learn that, oh, that's how it does it now, but it's a grim because of the eyes. Well, we felt we should explain that at some point, and we didn't know ourselves what the answer to that point. Like, what do they see when they see a grim? And uh, we uh, wrote the, the idea that they see this darkness, this kind of infinite darkness that's scary to the best. Um, but uh, did we have an idea that the whole thing ever been? No, the whole idea came about when we were trying to explain Monroe's <coughs> character and came up with a point of view that he had of the Grimm's. So it was like the big bad wolf had a point of view of the people that were hunting him. So then that led us into the whole best in the world. And it feels like at the beginning we kind of knew that, because I remember being asked this question and being like, you just kind of sense it when you're morphed and you see a grim, that's when you know. You don't know if you're not morphed. That's right. But we didn't have the details, and the details came out, I feel like, last year. And even this year, there's an even more fantastic, in-depth, detailed element to that sort of uh, uh, mythology that I think is, is just super interesting, and I'm not going to... I don't want to spoil it at all. It's just a cool twist on that same idea that's in the eyes. And we are going to answer every question eventually. There'll be another key this year, and in year five for sure, we will answer what those damn seven keys mean and what they lead to. Are we getting that year five? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sasha, you know, I, I just have to ask you when you got those pages for the finale, were you worried? Did you go, I'm like, I mean, because look, I mean, and you know, in this state of TV, it's yeah. like, no one is safe. You know, I, I kind of saw it coming, so it wasn't a huge surprise. And I would not have faulted them if they're like, and that's going to be happy. You know, like, because I understand it makes for great television, although I really would hate to hear that from them. But um, I think we're going to try to find some sort of um, interesting way to bring him back to life. Like, you're, you're the ghost of honor at this day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can people even hear me? Is this mic like, on? Um, um, no, but how many fingers am I holding? No? All right. So, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Anyway, we'll see what happens, but it was, I thought it was a great storyline. I think it led to an amazing finale, um, and, uh, you know, I, again, you're right, in the state of television right now, who knows who's safe, so I think it's best to keep it that way. I know, I was like, Ed 2 Grim, you know, really awesome. <laughs> was my but I have to ask you one more question. So, do you speak French because you speak French? Was that your idea? Do you speak French? I mean, that was our characters idea. speak French Oh, you um, speak yes. French. Was that your idea? I, th I think we had a discussion during the pilot episode, right? I, when we found out he couldn't speak French, we used it. <laughs> when he said, <laughs> yeah, exactly. When we found out, yeah, you couldn't speak French, we put it in the show. When initially the character, sorry, initially the character spoke with a British accent. Initially. We did it twice, do you remember? The pilot, yeah, I know. Yeah. People know that. And then, oh, that last season. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so, and then we, we shot it and dumped it. And, uh, and then I mentioned that I spoke French. Okay, I'm going to open this up for questions, and once again, I have one more question I want to ask Russell. So, you got, you are like the only single guy. Everybody else is kind of paired up, so are we going to see any of that? I mean, Adeline certainly was not like a really good choice for you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, no yeah. Thanks, Thanks. 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 You know, it's, uh, adds a little spice, but uh, this, I'm, I'm game for anything as long as Adam's in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was very funny when you had to help her with this last season. <laughs> yeah, that's unlikely, but... Don't get Okay, we're going to open it up for questions. I see we have a microphone, so I think it's going to go. Oh my god, I've got this retired Wonder Woman here. You look great. Well, we see Grim the Musical, we know that. <laughs>
we haven't really gone back in time yet, but there's so much history in the show, so that could happen too. If they, if, they, if they let us make a movie out of it, sure, we'll go for it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. My favorite fairy tale is a little one called The Donkey and the Sausage Go to Town. And this has scores down with Soul of the Damn Show in the first place, which is, uh, there's 200 grim fairy tales, but there's only about 10 or 11 that we actually know, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, etc. And uh, we used those long ago, so. <laughs> My favorite is the new one we're gonna make now. <laughs>